I'm here visiting my husband's final resting place today at Mount Pleasant Cemetery in Toronto. And the hardest thing has been to find a quiet moment to record this video. There is one guy trimming the weeds in the plots just across the road. Cars are going by, airplanes. It is the city of Toronto after all. What made me want to record this video here is I have been back in Canada for a couple of weeks now from the land of the free, the little oasis in the United States known as Florida, where things are relatively normal and where there's a certain amount of sanity that prevails, particularly in the leadership under Ron DeSantis, their governor. Things are not as bad as they were now in Canada as when I left in December. I really thought I would leave and not come back again. Uh, so I'm glad to see that, but I know that this country is no longer the right fit for me. And it saddens me in so many ways because it's not the country, it's those who lead it, who have made it the way it is, and it's not good. The people that I, I used to be friends with no longer consider me worthy of their friendship. And, and that led me through several different stages of trying to understand this alienation. First, I, I was hurt, I didn't understand it. On reflection, I realized, well, obviously, it's politics and it's my feelings about COVID that differ from theirs. And to them, that is A, not worthy of discussion and B, not acceptable. Uh, but then my feelings changed and I, I look at them now with a certain compassion, almost a, a sense of, I feel so sorry for you that you are so psychotic over what really has turned out to be nothing more than a very ugly flu-like disease, which has bankrupt businesses really wreaked havoc with our economy and driven so many young people to despair. Others like myself who live alone with a dog for a companion to trying to find ways to be resourceful in order not to have, uh, not to be affected mentally. And, and then there are those old folk who had to be protected at all costs that were left to die alone and spend their last remaining days or hours on this planet in complete isolation. And the insanity of it all strikes me as just ever so sad that I thought this was the right place to try to reflect those sentiments because it is his final resting place and will ultimately be mine as well. So in closing, I'm gonna show you the statue that is erected which is a real symbol of the soulmates that we were while he was alive. And so I hope you will enjoy it as much as I do. And the inscription on it is from a flying uh, author, but it really applies to just about anybody who's had a corporeal existence on this planet. For I have slipped the surly bonds of earth and touched the face of God.